Howdy, I think it's time for an uh, upgrade because it's been a while since I uh, recorded a video and everybody's dying to find out what's happening with my truck. Well, here's what happened over a few uh, over the past few days. Uh, basically, I picked up that load of uh, skidded uh, pipe fittings. Uh, took it to uh, Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. On the way there, I stopped at uh, at the diesel freak shop in Michigan and had them check out uh, the truck and they don't, did not even uh, charge me any money for this because we scheduled the repair next uh, next week. Basically, they had to have uh, seven days uh, notice because they were, you know, the truck, uh, the shop was full and there's a Memorial Day uh, this Monday and today's, uh, what's today, Wednesday. But anyway, so the good news is that I left them the truck and I went and waited in the driver's lounge where they were where they were looking at it because the scare was that I thought I needed uh, you know like the head gasket and uh, that's that's very expensive uh, does not make you know much sense to invest all that money in a 10 year old truck but then they got back to me and said there's just a couple of minor leaks uh, no big deal uh, nothing that you know you cannot fix uh, relatively cheap not a couple of hundred bucks, but we're talking over a thousand dollars. And it's all because those guys that replaced my clutch, uh, where was it? Somewhere in the uh, in US, I think it was like Western US, when my clutch failed. And when they do that, it's very cheap and uh, very easy to replace the seal on the transmission. And those guys did not do that, so that seal started leaking. So now you have to take out the transmission and the clutch. But uh, those guys told me uh, 1,500, 15 hours. Now I just checked with the Cambridge Mac here in uh, Cambridge, Ontario, and they said it was, uh, he said maximum 10 hours. He says it's actually relatively easy on an international. So basically, yeah, it's just a couple of, you know, regular stuff, you know. All trucks have something that uh, you have to fix. And of course, uh, I delivered the load. I went across the border and there's like a whole bunch of tolls on that highway. You know, like I-75, first you go through Mackinac Bridge. It's like $30 for a six axle rig. And then you cross the border and they raise the fee. Now it's 27 bucks just to cross the actual border bridge. And then I figured, okay, I'm not gonna do another load uh, because the Landstar, you know, put my truck out of the system until I fix these problems or I get a new truck. And it, I did not even tell him yet that uh, I'm thinking of, you know, getting a new truck. And so it, I decided to go through uh, Michigan. So I crossed the bridge again into Michigan after I delivered my load, it took maybe like three hours to unload those pipe fittings. You know, it was very labor intensive because of the tarp and the many straps I use and then it's a big plant. There was uh, lots of waiting involved. No one is going to pay me for that, but uh, it's okay. I'm just glad that that trip was over. Now I'm back home in my home area and I'm sitting at the hotel right now, but that's what's uh, home for me. Love it. Now I'm relaxing. And so I just drove back through Michigan, like a shortcut instead of going through Ontario. Uh, and this way, of course, I had to pay the $27 again because my rear axle is always on the ground. Uh, so if I keep this trail, and uh, that's the first thing I would do is just lift the rear axle when I'm full, what I can do when I'm empty. So I paid 27 bucks again. I paid 30 bucks again to go through uh, that Mackinac Bridge, Mackinac Bridge. But it was relatively, uh, you know, it's all freeways. I-75 to I-475 to Flint, Michigan, and then I-69 to Port Huron, Michigan, and then uh, Sarnia, Ontario, Canada is on the other side. So it was like seven and a half hours. Boom, and uh, I finished unloading uh, at 11. I was in Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan around noon, 12 o'clock, and I grabbed some coffee, and then I started driving. And I was here in Cambridge, Ontario, uh, just after nine and only because I spent uh, maybe half an hour in the lineup at the border and you know just give me a passport uh, where you know how long like the Canadian uh, customs ask me like where where did you go she looks at the trailer the trailer is empty I said well I just delivered the load in uh, Sault Ste. Marie Ontario and but I went through Michigan because it's shorter and uh, in case I needed fuel fuel is much cheaper she checked my records okay go 
and that's it and so i came last night i went to the hotel and i talked to the salesman and the guys that said it was a western star were not correct neither was it a peter build or international 9900 so no more internationals for me this was a mac a mac and these guys had two models uh, it's a mac pinnacle the one with the rounded hood and for some reason they ordered this truck like whoever the boss was you know who does the spec uh the wheelbase is 227 227 inches even my truck i have uh, 235 so but they got this truck it's a 2014 truck so they probably had it like for a while sitting in the yard and it's so 227 inches long and but it has a big axle it has 14 6 front axle 14 14,600 pounds on the front 46 on the rear and i checked and on the front they use a 12 r 22.5 tire which surprised the heck out of me i was pretty sure they would screw up uh, screw up and put like 11 11 r 22.5 which is no good for that 14 6 axle but they do have a good like what is it like three or six millimeter almost like 12 inch tie on the front so it's a good truck 18 speed tranny you know very nice inside brand new uh, but on the advice of a friend so I, I went to see this guy this morning and uh, they did tell me that yeah it's possible to install a lift axle in there for the future but they would have to spend about uh, that's what the, the body shop quoted to to the dealer about $3,500 just modifying the truck they would have to move the the exhaust uh, pipe that uh, frame that holds the exhaust pipe they would have to do something else uh, cut the tanks you know it's not exactly this guy says oh yeah we can install a lift axle because a friend of mine he said you know take take a new truck if they can throw in the free axle and I want that lift axle for the future you know for heavy loads for low boy work I don't care like no wheels no tires just give me an axle because it's a lot of work. just I can buy an axle but like the install and then it when it's all together it's a lot of money so now that's what this guy I left him I said here's what I am you know I'll take your truck give you mine back for the trade-in you offered me if you take care of the axle you buy it here's the website we can buy this axle for just over three grand in US uh, because they were quoting me some crazy numbers of ten thousand dollars I said what here's the website right just go buy direct they take visa they'll ship it here for two hundred dollars just an assembly axle assembly lift axle and I said I don't need ties I don't need wheels just install it and get it included in the price of a truck and then you have a deal and the guy oh so you want us to pay for all this I said well you know here's uh, here's the that's what I that's what I can do you know because I don't really need a new truck like this one can still work two three years um, so anyway that's what's happening with the truck they, they are thinking if they can do it and they already called that uh, web uh, um, that company and he sends me an email oh I try to call the triple eight number and like toll-free number but it only works from US so like I tried that too and it says uh, you know this number is not available from your area so what I did I went to contact us section of their web page and i found the local number 610 which is pennsylvania this guy cannot even find the local number so i had to send him i said yeah that one does not work call this one 610 it's listed on their web page anyway so i know i don't know what they're trying to do they're trying to see if that uh, that axle comes with everything that's required uh, minus uh, wheels and tires because i can do that later i can do that through uh, landstar you know so one thing at a time but at least i will have a real heavy hold truck with a lift axle uh, because right now i have my step deck i don't actually need a lift axle so that's what's happening that's a mac mac pinnacle 2014 that's the last one they have remaining at the old exchange rate uh, because I, oh i asked him i said if that does not work let's uh, order a brand new one then we can spec a longer wheelbase like a proper that's because usually in a heavy hold truck you need a longer wheelbase the distance between the wheels right the center of the tandem and the front axle and you want the lift axle installed everything is ready to go you know no bs uh, no wasted time but he said because now the canadian dollar is much weaker towards the us dollar than when uh, within the exchange rate they had when they bought this pinnacle he's offering me he said that truck with the lift axle would cost like oh what did he say 
20,000 more, $25,000 more, you know, and you have to wait for months. I said, well, I don't care, I can wait, you know, it's not like uh, I'll just fix this truck and uh, use it for, you know, three, four months, and then we'll get your truck. But I don't know, right now I'm more, I'm leaning towards selling it privately because right now, uh, that's another thing I wanted to mention is that I got a couple of people uh, really interested in this truck. I, I said on the, the truck for sale video, right? I want to sell it for 18.5 Canadian, 17 US. And one guy called me from Alberta. He says, I'll give you 16. <laughs> you know, I, I wanted, first I wanted to, you know, laugh and, and, and clap my hands and I kind of controlled myself. I said, well, I don't know if I can do that. How about 16.5? And the guy says, okay, that will work. All right, so now he's been trying to figure out how to get the truck from here, Ontario to Alberta. Uh, but he, we talked again this, uh, this afternoon and he said, oh, give me till tomorrow. I said, yeah, you know, he, he says he's short on cash now. I said, wait a second, you told me 16 was okay. I said, okay, let's do 16. If that would help you just drop the $500, you know, so give me 16,000 and the truck is yours, you know? And then another cool thing happened. Uh, finally, this uh, lady that's been bugging me about the step deck. Oh, when can we see the trailer for the lease takeover? The step deck. Uh, I said I'll be I'll be in Cambridge May twenty first, and then I send them messages with updates. Yeah, on my way. I'm I'm leaving Michigan, and they don't respond. And then finally this morning, I sent them an email. I said, you know what? Uh, the trailer is here. You want to see it? Let me know. But I don't want to waste your time or mine anymore. Like if you don't miss, if you don't want me to send you these emails, just let me know, right? So, what are we doing? Are we looking at the trailer? Because she was like on the phone. She, oh, we're taking it. You know, don't give it to anyone else. When can we see it? But back then I was in Texas. So anyway, so her husband uh, came over, look at the at the trailer, and I printed out the credit application. It seems like he asked me a bunch of questions. And we talk on the phone to the leasing company and uh, we want to do this within the next, you know, day or two. So now we just, de they're filling out the application. So if everything is good, uh, I said, I'll give them like a thousand bucks cash, you know, like a bonus. They take over the lease. I pay for the lease transfer. That's another thousand bucks. And I give them all chains and binders because I, I don't need those anyway for the, for the low boy trailer that I'm going to get. Um, so it's, it's going to be one crazy week, that's for sure. Oh, and then that guy, uh, when I was in Texas delivering those uh, farm tractors or in that uh, roller, right? My phone rang and this guy from Ontario, oh, I want to buy your, I want to take your step deck. Uh, I found a driver, but he doesn't have his own uh, trailer. I want to get it for him. Oh, yeah, sure. Don't call anyone else. <laughs> that's what I find wrong with this, uh, you know, private buyers. They seem so uh, sincerely interested, but because you're somewhere far away, you know, their interest, you know, grows weaker and weaker as the time passes and then they either change their mind or they find someone else. So this morning, oh, and this guy, for some reason, he does not respond very well to emails. I had to send him text messages, which is like 18th century, you know, style. So send me a text message. Uh, again, uh, I'm in Cambridge. You want to see the trailer? And the guy says, okay. And then he sends me a reply a couple of hours later saying, you know what? The driver quit. <laughs> that driver that you wanted to buy a trailer for he said that driver quit so now uh, i don't think we're gonna we're gonna need another trailer sorry no deal all right so but at least now this lady saw the trailer so i don't know then i have another guy some indian guy uh sent me an email uh was emailing me like last uh sitting in the restaurant trying to have some meal and this guy keeps sending me email sent from my iphone all right okay so you have an iphone cool I got a Samsung, which is much bigger. And uh, this guy says, 15, I'll give you 15,000. I said, well, okay. But then he starts asking me all these questions about the records, repairs, major repairs, minor repairs. I said, you're asking too many questions for 15,000. You know, like the price was 18.5. Now you want all the records or I want it for myself. All right, I want to see it tomorrow, so to, which is today. So I said, when? Evening. When in the evening? I'll let you know. All right, so we'll see. So if this guy <laughs> doesn't matter to me, 15, 16, same difference, right? So, but that's what's happening. So I'm trying to exchange the truck, exchange the trailer. 
get into the big game, uh, big money game, you know, with uh, heavy loads. Uh, but of course, I can wait with the truck. But the best thing that could have happened could happen is the, the trailer. If I can get rid of the step deck, I can still use my truck and I can get the low boy trailer and then make lots of cool videos for you guys about loading dozers, excavators, uh, submarines, you know, spaceships, whatever, whatever goes on a, on a on a low boy trailer. And these loads are real, you know, interesting. Uh, I saw one guy send me a picture. He's uh, he's pulling a 35 ton uh, low boy. And he sent me a picture, he had a helicopter, like a real helicopter with, uh, I think they took a couple of blades off. Uh, but you know, like a real army helicopter was sitting on his trail. And speaking about movies and photography, another another piece of news is that I was trying to shoot some uh, birds back in a few days, not these uh, doves, I mean seagulls, but I was trying to do some like, you know, wild, live shooting and i found that that 200 millimeter lens was not enough so i took it back to best buy and then i found a good deal on this uh, uh 18 millimeter to 300 millimeter this is a nikon lens and this one is really it's, it's a bit heavy but you know this is kind of like one lens you need for everything you know i'm not a professional photographer so i don't care about maybe some you know minor imperfections in the picture but this one you know you can go like from really wide to really zoom 18 to 300 so that's what i want you know so now we're gonna have where is it okay now we're gonna have lots of good slideshows that's a big mother now right now i'm gonna need a new i think i'm, I'm gonna need a new bag because this is getting a little a little big for the bag okay so that's what happening. So uh, the truck is still good. If I want, I can keep it. Uh, can get rid of the trailer. Can get rid of the truck if I choose so. And the uh, Mac is now thinking about how they can accommodate me uh, and sell me the truck. Right? I'm trying to figure out how to do the the uh, that axle. But that truck, it's really there's there's so little space behind the cab that the poor guys have to cut the tanks. You know, that's lots of work. And plus, of course, you lose capacity. So now instead of, I think those tanks are only 125 gallons. They were pretty small to begin with. Now they're going to cut the, the rear. What are they going to be? 50 gallons each? I don't know. I'm not quite happy with that. You know, they have to do so much cutting and, you know, uh, and the welding <clears throat> probably would be better to order a brand new truck. But right now, my priority, priority number one is uh, a trailer. So this Indian guy is uh, filling out the lease takeover application as we speak. Thanks for watching. I'm Sergio Drachev from.